what would you say to convince the naysayers out there that Conor McGregor has a shot of upsetting the odds and, and, and beating Floyd Mayweather? Um, right. One thing, I, one thing I can say is, um, how am I going to put this now? <laughs> it's tricky. Um, what we have to realize, what, 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 what we have to realize is, um, Floyd's going in there with a man that's used to how many, uh, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to say, I'm going to say eight objects. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Flying at him. That's mm -hmm. two knees, two feet, two hands, two elbows, and a lot, and locks as well. So that's nine objects, mm. nine tools. So every time Connor gets in the ring, he's facing a man who has nine tools to use, yeah? Mm -hmm. Against him. And he manages to rise to the top mm -hmm. over them guys who have nine tools, yeah? Mm -hmm. Now, they're going to get into this boxing ring, yeah? And he's going to face a man with two tools. Mm which is just these fists. Mm -hmm. Now, if you're used to, to look at, to, to, if you're used to being visual for feet, hands, knees, locks, everything, if you're used to having to be that visual and that switched on, yeah, mm -hmm. and it's for five minutes at a time, yeah, mm -hmm. when you've only got two, two, two weapons coming at you, how, come on, like, isn't that a lot easier than having, like, a knife? If you get where I'm coming from, if you're looking for knees, hands, um, elbows, all of that. So bear in mind, that's how visual you've got to be mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. in an MMA fight. But he's going into a boxing and he's just got to focus on hands. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. That makes sense when you do the math. But don't, do you like, think... If, if, go ahead. Go on. Well, I was going to say, but, but do you think that, I mean, because... Floyd has only had to focus on those two tools for his entire life, whereas Connor did have to focus on nine different tools. I, I guess Floyd's mastery of his of those two specific tools is probably superior to Connor's mastery of those two superior tools. So is is the deficit too big for Connor to overcome. I mean, obviously, you're going to say no because you know you're you're part of Team McGregor. But but is that the challenge? There is is to is to make sure his mastery of those two tools rises well enough to oh, wait, to the occasion where he can take out Floyd. Well, see, we have to remember Connor came from a boxing background. True. Connor was boxing before he was doing mixed martial arts. Mm -hmm. So. Um, I think, if I'm totally honest, like I said, like he's where he's came from the boxing background. I think I think he's already a quarter way there anyway. Mm. So or was a quarter way there anyway. Maybe even halfway there to get where he's got to today. So now he's had more than enough time to focus on two tools. Mm -hmm. More than enough time to learn. So if you're already halfway there, it isn't going to take much longer to get your other half if right. you get where I'm coming from and, and, and you know to your point you don't necessarily have to be better at those two tools in order to get the win you know well, well, well at, at, at the same time we're saying Floyd's been Floyd's had these two, two tools we're saying yeah alright he's mastered the two tools which he has and I can't take nothing away from Floyd. Um, I'm a major fan of, fan of Floyd, just as much as I'm McGregor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. but I happen to be on Team McGregor. But at the end of the day, um, I think like Floyd's gonna come up against a completely different style that he hasn't come up against before. Mm. We're talking. Do, do you get where I'm coming from? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No. There's like there's no tape. And 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 and. and 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 he's coming up against a man that will is willing to die in that ring. Mm. And I'm just going from what the kind of attitude, not from what I've sparred and seen. I'm going from what I've the kind of attitude and heart he has in that cage. Mm. 